It's The Breakfast Show with Stuart and Chris. Hi, I'm Stuart. Hi, I'm Chris. And welcome to The Breakfast Show. Right. Yeah, at Sirenet Television. See, you're already talking over me. You just started. Did you have your coffee I was yet? doing the background echo. Oh. Remember The Breakfast Show. Yeah, show. show. We're in a cavernous show. building here. But anyway, we're going to be looking at some product this morning from a company by the name of Wheel Engineering. I know you've heard that name before. It sounds familiar. It is, isn't it? It's been around for a while. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But they have a range of LED beacons that we have on Sirenet, and we're going to be having a look at them right now. Let's mm -hmm. go across and have a look at them. Let's go. So here's the beacons, all laid out very nicely. Did you do this arrangement? I guess you did, yes. Very yeah, nice. I got up early. <laughs> so you've got the uh, L53. 53. I was about to say 51. I could have gotten in trouble with that one. The L53. The L10. 10, 21. Oh. 31. 31. And 32. There you go. I never quite understood why the difference between the 32, which to me would be two stack, versus the 31, which is the two stack. But anyway, that's just the way it is in Stuart's small world. But these particular beacons have got a wide variety of application depending on how you want to use them. Indeed. So let's start off with the very small, but yet quite compact, L53. So this little guy here is going to be the simplest out of the bunch. On the bottom, we have a single 90 pound magnet. So this is not going to work with today's modern aluminum roof vehicles. So keep that in mind. You want to go with a surface that is going to let you latch this down. If I do this on the card, I'll never get it off. But a neat thing with this, and this is something we're going to highlight on these beacons, is the removable dome and the internals. Which has come apart. So if we actually do it this way, and the reason it's come apart is because basically it's being secured by the screws which actually hold the dome off. Correct. When the dome is removed, this is going to be come loose. loose. Yes. And it actually, actually has little, little tabs that yes. lock it into place yes. there. Yes. And simplicity, it's a single diode there. And the diode potency is going to come into play as we go across these. So with this single diode, lower potency, so this is a class 3 beacon when it comes right down to it. But I, I must tell you that actually when we go outside, we can take a look at the outside video right now, you can see how this particular light works with respect to potency. And it's pretty bright for a class 3 light. Now let me explain a little bit about class 3, class 2, and class 1. I'm going to keep it very simple, okay? So we're not going to get into the technical details. But basically, a class 3 light is the type of light that you can use on like a forklift mm -hmm. or a sort of the golf cart you see at the airport that they try and run you down when you're trying to just walk yeah. on the plane. Or even say like a little people mover when you're just cruising around. Yeah, like at the airport, people mover. But again, so class three would not get put on a public works vehicle, uh, would not get put on a law enforcement, emergency service vehicle, EMS, fire. That's not what you would use a class three. Now class two is kind of that gray area uh, you can use class two as a secondary light mm -hmm. on an emergency service type vehicle. Again, these are technical specs which relate to the United States. They don't always relate to the other parts of the world that you're in. And class one is the type of light that can be used from a primary perspective. So this is a class three. Now we're going to go to the L10. Mm -hmm. And the L10 is a very popular, no, it's my turn. You don't get to do all the good stuff. So the L10 beacon been around for a long time. Of course, it looks like a strobe beacon, as does its sister beacon, the L21, which we'll come to in a minute. But the big difference is what's on the inside. And as you can see, thank you, good sir, um, the actual base is polycarbonate. It's a pretty straightforward assembly point. And you've got your diode tower, as shown here, with the respective PC board and all of the components on that as well. So again, you get a chance to see those particular layouts there. And again, Output in this light is pretty darn bright. It is indeed. And the tower there, a single diode on each side of it. So that what creates the 360 degree output. And then the dome fills that in. So this takes that little diode, helps to brighten it up, stretch that output. And this was the replacement. Remember the 2022 yes, strobes? Yes, yes. Yeah. So yeah. this is the modern day replacement yeah. for that. Screw. Well, screws, they are important. That's what secures the dome on here. And like we said, it's the breakfast show. I got up early. I took stuff apart. OK, I didn't take the screws out. I'm sorry. But we'll so, put I them back together. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> the screws will go back in. Don't worry. Besides, Good. now I know where they are. So the next one is the L21. 
Okay, you get a chance to talk about Yeah, you owe me a cup of coffee for jinx on okay, that now, one. Okay, now, pull this over for you. That's all Chris right. is a small lad. But you can see here, again, the difference between the two is the assembly. So we have, again, polycarbonate base. Mm -hmm. uh, now we have epoxy coated PC board cover. Exactly. I was just waiting for you to fill that in. So yeah, all the circuitry in there has been fully epoxy sealed. So this helps to take this beacon, make it that much more robust for heavier duty applications. Right. So from a vibration perspective, it's like, shake, 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 like that. It's going to work very well. And then, of course, again, uh, there is treading here, so you can pipe mm -hmm. mount this as well. One inch standard threading, yep. Um, yep. also okay, on the L10. So same base and design, they have the same footprint when it right. comes right down right. to it. So you can flat mount it or just screw it right onto that pipe thread. Now the output is higher on this one. It is indeed. So you're going to notice here that there is three diodes on each side of the tower. So this is going to be an increased brightness when it comes down to it. Yep. They have the same look, the same fit and finish. The dome's actually completely identical when it comes down to it. There is going to be an intensity difference between them. But both of them are a class one, but there are going to be some intensity differences between class one. So. Yep. Class one, certain brightness level, that doesn't mean that you can't go beyond oh, that course. for a higher output. All right, so that's the L21. Mm -hmm. And now we have my favorite, the, the L31. L31. Now this particular beacon, this of course is amber. I've seen this around the world in different parts. Uh, one particular area that uses a lot of the L31 beacons actually happens to be in both Denmark and to a lesser degree in Norway, but Denmark, on the Danish police force, very popular. They use a total of three on each vehicle. And again, there, there's, of course, already blue. Okay. This is amber. So I'm going to take the top off. So if you take the top, mm -hmm. we'll both take the top off. There, we go. Oh, there you go. I want to hold the basin. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. We'll switch that up. There you go. So you have a gasket ring, as you can see here, falling off. I'll take it off. There you go. <laughs> again, now this is not a polycarbonate base. This no. is actually a cast base. So the, the base is cast aluminum. That's the noise that's being made here. And then again, you have a tower of respective reflectors into which have been mounted the diodes. And the mm -hmm. diodes, will, of course, are the LEDs. You've got the PC board mounted on the top of the beacon as well. So again, very robust, very compact light. It has been around for a number of years. It's been around since say, before I started here working with you at Sirenet. Yeah, I don't so. think it's that old. I know you're old, but I don't think <laughs> it's that old. I'd say it's definitely within the last seven years, but I'm sure somebody out there will correct us. It's so like again, 10 or 12. You can't, of course, interchange the domes. He's always correcting me. You can't interchange the domes, by the way. So meaning if it's amber, and as with all this product, it's amber. Whereas if it's blue, it's blue. In the old days of strobe, of course, you could, in fact, mm -hmm. do that. The strobe tube created that white flash. The color dome was just that, a color dome right. with LEDs. It's kind of like crayons. If we take this, put a blue on it, light it up, right. it's going to be a very diminished color output. And I don't even know what it's going to look like. But a couple other things here. Yeah. Option. Linear technology. So this is what this is bringing into the game when it comes to the differences in the beacons. So you have the four sections here, mm -hmm. double stacked, and also a very neat thing about this is the diodes on that top circuit board. So it has lighting that is completely firing upwards. So a neat thing when it comes to airport right. applications. Right. Yeah. Well, again, let's be clear though. I mean, this is designed, you can see it, but if you were coming in on a 747, <laughs> you know, want to have this side show. Um, yeah, I never get to sit by the window. Now, I'm on options the aisle, as far so. as um, mounting hardware? Surface mount, that's how this is going to come out of the package. It has some tabs, some self-tapping screws. Right. So those are actually going to insert into the basin here. Instructions that highlights the details. So flat mount with this one, and that's how it works only. Right. There is a pipe mount kit. You can get that as an option, sure. throw that on there. So if you're going to follow suit the one inch threading, Pipe mount base, cast aluminum affixes onto right. the base of the L31 right. and the L32. True. And as I said at the beginning of our little breakfast soiree, um, that's kind of foreign language stuff. I uh, just have to try that in to keep everybody happy. This is the <laughs> L32, which of course is smaller than the L31. And the people back at the factory of Whelan are probably going, Stuart, please stop saying that thing about the difference in the height. We'll take this off. It's okay, I've had my cornflakes. So it's off, and um, the gasket is... Where's the gasket? Gasket's on there. Is it? Mm -hmm. It is. <laughs> See, he's got way better eyesight than I have. So again, cast base. Mm -hmm. And again, you have a single tower versus a double tower on the other L31 versus the L32. And again, configuration's the same. Flash pattern configuration's the same. 
but it's a bright unit in a small package. Exactly. <laughs> you couldn't have said it better myself. Sorry. So I'm going to put the dome back on. Well, I'm going to put the gasket on first. Mm -hmm. So you put the gasket on. As he puts the gasket on, again, the pipe mount and different types of variations of mounting hardware are going to pop up on your screen right now. We should have some sort of music that. I'm sure someone okay. upstairs will get that uh, coordinated. So let's put this back on. Well, essentially, it's like putting a little rubber band on something, you know. We'll put this over here. So there you have it. This is the selection of beacons from Wheelie mm -hmm. that we're talking about here this morning. Yep, yeah, we have the L53, we have the L10, the L21, the L31, and the L32. Right. So there you have it. So let's swing back over here so the control room gets a chance to settle down. And I think we're done. I think so. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Check out all the different varieties of videos. And I'm Stuart. I'm Chris. And you've been watching Science Television. You have a great day.